old Asian people I know, right? Uh, that used to work with my dad, my uncles, my aunts. They were all victims of crime coming right. home from work. Sure, and and you know, and this is a great kind of segue back into the here and the now and why I'm still out here. Because you're right, you know, hurt people hurt people. I was like, actually, the girl who I dated at the time, she told me the same thing. She said that her parents had actually been victimized by a black person, a fraudster. Yeah. We say we have 330 million Americans, right? But then you start to piece it down into collective units, Asian, black, white. It's just designed to divide us, right? I don't see anything as um, an individual attack. What I see it is white supremacy winning. Right when a black person sees an Asian person as the enemy, well, that's a white person winning. Right now, the truth is, what I'm an advocate for is actually the black person, a black community holding that black guy accountable. I'm looking for this motherfucker personally. Mm -hmm. That's how I, that's how I get down. Like when I feel like we allow the police to step in and do their own version of justice, which doesn't hold the community and the people in the community accountable for holding this guy accountable. You know how fast this guy will be found. If we That's actually true. stood in solidarity and said, this is the guy, I'm a brother, I was born and raised here, I, w I walk these streets, he's my brother, he's my brother. And working together, yeah. Let's find this motherfucker. Isn't it? And also I make this about black people, because, you know, people, everybody does this. All cultures do this, so, mm -hmm. you know. No, but what you're talking, I'm just trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying I've, to understand I've what people, you're talking about. I, I, you know, specifically, I've heard people say, I don't know why we're fighting for this, and then come to the march. So you hear, oh, I don't know why we're fighting for Asians. Oh, it's like saying, I fucking hate this song. Yo, put that shit on repeat. <laughs> like that song by Jay Sun that you were talking about. You can tell that That's story. A hot song, that. We need more solidarity between our communities across several other communities in order to get this right and stop whatever the fuck is going on. White supremacy is a real thing. Mm -hmm. All right. And I do want to remind people that I do know that a lot of people within our community think that uh several people of color are committing these atrocities and we do see it on film and, and I t totally get that and I get just as upset. But we do have to remember that the blacks did not create the anti-Asian laws that dehumanize Asian Americans. That's right, naturalization mm -hmm. act. Yeah. Yep. We gotta remember that. Yep. And another one's that you have to remember, just like Ace, that blacks have always understood the importance of fighting for all victims of white supremacy. Lucky Boys Podcast. I mean, we spoke with Don Lee about it too. A lot. Uh, the reason where a lot of these um, elderly immigrant Asians are prejudiced, you know, Don said, "Well, where do you think they get it from?" Right. Mm -hmm. It's because a lot of them were victims. Yeah. And that totally made me look at it. You know, you. I went a step further and, and started looking at the old Asian people I know. Right, uh, they used to work with my dad, my uncles, my aunts. They were all victims of crime coming right. home from work. Sure, and and you know, and this is a great kind of segue back into the here and the now, and why I'm still out here, because you're right. You know, hurt people hurt people. Right. You know, and like I said, the 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 biggest sort of fraud of the new age revolution is the police department coming to the aid of the Asian community, right? Because the crime has been here. The, you know, the, the triads or the gangsters of the community have always lived here. They just, it wasn't a priority to focus on this community because it was not popular, right? And here's the thing, the crime, whether it be on behalf of a, a black person committing a crime, a white person, an Asian person against an Asian person, it doesn't change based on, uh, it, it doesn't change based on where you are. It depends on how much you make, right? Because if you had cash, Right. If you had money, right, you live in a nice neighborhood, the police are there. The community is there. Right. But when you're impoverished like Asian community is, um, thank you. When you're impoverished like the Asian community is and the black community is, you're in close proximity to places where they allow things to happen. You know, they allow this thing with no safe walks, with no community involvement. It's a breeding ground for this kind of thing. So the solution to that problem, the solution to um these types of incidents is people like me, black leaders and Asian leaders coming together in the community and standing united, right? That That is, you know, you talk about 
you know, people, elderly uh, people being um, victimized. Like, actually, the girl who I dated at the time, she told me the same thing. She said that her parents had actually been victimized by a black person, a fraudster. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, okay. obviously that 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 means... I wouldn't say hate, because that's a very... They don't even hate. It's more like... A prejudice. They're, like they're careful. Yeah, they're yeah. prejudiced. They're prejudiced and they're mm. careful. Because right. hate, they're not going out there trying to hurt black people. Right. They're not out there, like, trying to hunt black people down or any. They, they want to actually just avoid them because they have these negative associations right. with them because they were a victim of a crime mm -hmm. and they know people that were a victim of a crime. Right. I think that's when it comes to elderly people. But here's what I do want to say. Minorities hating minorities and most of it, like you were saying, we're in the middle to lower class and it's always us hating each other right. in that societal grouping. So you have the immigrants there and then you have people that were systematically oppressed on both sides. That means that we're fighting a war against poverty, crime, and in many cases, hunger. So while we're all worried about each other's facial features and identity, when we should be focusing on our financial identity, right. that should be the focus. Mm -hmm. I think we need to wake up mm -hmm. collectively, as a collective, I think we need to wake the fuck up. You were talking about uh, uh, issues with pro uh, prov poverty, um, and some might say that uh, these are crimes of opportunity, but uh, some of the videos that I've I've seen uh, in the news uh, have been not a robbery, but just random attacks yeah, I've seen on that. on Asian people uh, from uh, the black community. Mm -hmm. And I, and I, you know the black you know the the black community is it's not a monolith. You know, there's some you know there's bad there's bad apples, and uh, but it seems like just a lot of attacks are coming from the community. And, and you know, let me be careful, right? Because I don't speak for, I'm, I'm an individual, I'm Ace Burns, I'm an individual, yeah. you know, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not even affiliated. I would call myself a Black Lives Matter movement protester, but I'm not a part of BLM, I'm not a part of any um, individual unit. But as a citizen of the world, right? As a global citizen, I, I'm sorry, man. I, that what, what you guys are experiencing is a part of white supremacy, right? That that brainwashing of the black community to see everyone as the other, right? Right now, we, we say we have 330 million Americans, right? But then you start to piece it down into collective units, Asian, black, white. It's just designed to divide us, right? I don't see anything as um, an individual attack. What I see it is white supremacy winning, right? When a black person sees an Asian person as the enemy, well, that's a white person winning, right? Now, the truth is, what I'm an advocate for is actually the black person, a black community holding that black guy accountable. I'm looking for this motherfucker personally. Mm -hmm. That's how I, that's how I get down. Like when I feel like we allow the police to step in and do their own version of justice, which doesn't hold the community and the people in the community accountable for holding this guy accountable. You don't just pass it off. The worst thing you could do is say to the police, "Go get this guy." No, let's get together as a community. We all condemn this collectively and say, this is his face. You know how fast this guy will be found? If we That's actually true. stood in solidarity and said, this is the guy. I'm a brother. I was born and raised here. I, w I walk these streets. He's my brother. He's my brother. We're working together. Yeah. Let's find this motherfucker. Yeah. Everybody, you know how much, I, I have not tapped into the true revolution yet. The true revolution, the third phase of the revolution is in your hand. It's software engineering in your hand. It's apps that control cell phones. things. Not cell phones, software development. So you're talking about apps. I'm talking about apps. The apps is one iteration of what mm -hmm. we can do. Blockchain, mm -hmm. the financial revolution, where we actually feed people. You saw Cyborg. You, you yeah. saw the, the just. You saw the, the Zack Snyder cut of Justice yeah. League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when Cyborg was just, you know, just we could do that. Oh, like he was like giving money yeah. through the ATM yeah. and but stuff. I, right? I mean, I don't want to go away from that, but I, I, I say solidarity what I, is the answer to those. Well, what I will add to solidarity, uh, and I totally agree with that, we need more solidarity between our communities across several other communities in order to get this right and stop whatever the fuck is going on. White supremacy is a real thing, mm -hmm. all right? And I do wanna remind people that I do know that a lot of people within our community think that uh, several people of color are committing these atrocities and we do see it on film and, and I t totally get that and I get just as upset. But we do have to remember that the blacks did not create the anti-Asian laws that dehumanize Asian Americans. That's right, naturalization mm -hmm. act. Yeah. Yep. We gotta remember that. Yep. And another one is that you have to remember, just like Ace, that blacks have always understood the importance 
of fighting for all victims of white supremacy. Yeah. Mm. One thing I want to say also, I totally agree with that. And thank you for that His, yeah. history. Like we talked about 1969 SDS, like this, this movement is so more, so much more powerful with a conversation about it. That's something that I think is missing. When I talk to black people outside the movement, they they go off. They have all kind of stuff to say. I, I'm not going to give any air to any of the, the negative things they say about Asian people trying to um, take their, their civil rights. But when you get into a room, everybody is kind of quiet on the side. Like even at the marches, like some people have said some wild things to me and I'll see them at the march. I'm like, okay, but you feel that way, but it's like you're here for the wrong reasons. You're here for the popularity effect. Oh, but you're we, saying that the, the same black folks are saying crazy shit about Asians behind their back. They go to a, a rally with Asians in it. And also I make this about black people because, you know, people, everybody does this. All cultures do this. So, mm -hmm. you know. No, but what you're talking, I'm just trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying I've, to understand what people, you're talking about. I, I, you know, specifically, I've heard people say, I don't know why we're fighting for this. And then come to the march. So you hear, oh, I don't know why we're fighting for Asians. Oh, it's like saying, I fucking hate this song. Yo, put that shit on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> like that song by Jay Sun that you were talking about. You can tell that That's story. That's a hot before. song, though.